Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're going to do Nick Natoli Rittenhouse. Let's see what he thinks about this, y'all. <laughs> Look. I feel like how written how shots got fired, everybody wanna listen now. Triggers got pulled, everybody's talking different now. Claim the self-defense, everybody know I'm with it now. I feel like how written house, I feel like how written house. Shots got fired, everybody wanna listen now. Triggers got pulled, everybody talking different now. Claim the self-defense, everybody know I'm with it now. I feel like how written house, I feel like how written house. Yeah. I think everyone forgot our amendments And Kyle didn't start that fight, but he'll end it I only make music to get y'all offended I see a different story than the one y'all presented I'm proud of the country that that boy was defending And when they heard that verdict, Democrats just pretended Cause they know they the ones who were misrepresented Thought that y'all was street, Kyle showed you what cement was Popping like the 4th of July, I commend you Thought that y'all would end us, we killing your agenda I hear you you want the rifle back that they sold you never know when you well one thing i'm gonna say though he got off on a technicality because the weapon he was using was not registered to him okay <laughs> or at least that's i think that's what the situation was with that but because of the overall length of the weapon is what they uh <laughs> so he got lucky on that one all right uh if it wasn't for that they really wouldn't have had a choice but to charge him with having an illegal firearm and then he would have gotten in some trouble but definitely not as much you know with the uh murder charges that he was charged with um, and from everything I know about it, you know, after the confrontation started, he tried to back away, right? He tried to take away from, take off, because he didn't want that to escalate, all right? Uh, and that's really what saved his back, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I've talked about it before, and I was like, you know... If he stood his ground right then and there, as soon as that conflict started, it would have been a much different scenario, you know, because then they could have said, well, you created the danger and then you acted on that. So there's a, you know, you can't really claim self-defense. Like if you're robbing a bank and things go south and you end up killing somebody, because they reached and tried to grab for your gun. Well, guess what? You're there robbing the bank. You can't claim self-defense because of that. You created that danger. So, someone trying to reach and grab for your gun, trying to take it away from you. You can't claim self-defense, buddy. If you wasn't there robbing the bank and didn't have a loaded firearm, that wouldn't have happened. That's on you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, but in this case, because he backed away, he took the danger away, and then they added the danger back. So that's on them. If it had to went down that way, it would have been a much different scenario. So that's the key takeaway here. If you are ever having a dangerous weapon and a confrontation starts, you better if you want to claim self-defense you better try everything you can to keep it from escalating because if you don't if you're just like ah, i'm gonna stand my ground and whatever happens happens you can't claim self-defense <laughs> just say it you can't you know 
Leader than Kenosha. Poster boy for the NRA, I told ya. Here they talking loud till you pull up, now it's over. Now they smell smoke, they ain't never coming there again. That's a true American. I feel like Kyle Rittenhouse. Shots got fired, everybody wanna listen now. Triggers got pulled, everybody talking different now. Claiming self defense, everybody know I'm with it now. I feel like Kyle Rittenhouse. I feel like Kyle Rittenhouse. What I will say, there's a couple things I want to bring up here, okay? The first one is that he was up there saying, I'm an ENT, come find me if you need help. He wasn't an ENT, okay? So that right there, uh, for me, just goes to show what he was doing there, okay? Yes, it was a noble cause. Yes, he was there trying to help. I understand that. But it would be like, I guess it would be as severe if he was up there saying, I'm a police officer. But it's kind of in the same area. You are professing to be something that you're not. Okay? Uh, he was also a minor. He had, you know... It's a gutsy move. I'll give him that. He did it for the right reasons. I'll give him that. He was there trying to help. Um, but it wasn't his place to do that. You know what I'm saying? He was like 17 years old. Uh, if you want, like, it, really what he should have done. Uh, Get more people to and talk to them that's in that business that is in the militias or whoever it is, a peace keep, you know, whoever kind of people like that, and tell them, hey, there's a situation over here. Can you guys please go try and keep that from escalating and keep bad things from happening? Would have been totally respectable. He would have been well within his right to do that. But for a 17 year old to put themselves in harm's way like that i i don't uh i i think he was way over his head you know what i'm saying but when push came to shove he handled himself really good okay because he didn't want to take anyone's life he didn't want that he just wanted to help i don't understand why they chase somebody with a machine gun. <laughs> you don't do that. Okay. You just don't. You see someone with a dangerous weapon. You want to stay away from that person. Okay. Either that or or show them. Hey I'm not a threat. Don't. You know what I'm saying. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I won't mess with you. You know. We got a mutual understanding here. That's fine. But. You do not escalate things when someone's got a weapon, okay? If you care about staying alive, that's common sense. So I don't understand that. You know, and everybody else had weapons too. He wasn't the only one. So why they went after him? I'm going to throw a skateboard at him. I'm going to chase him down. And Why? I, I don't get it. I didn't watch the whole trial. I think I watched maybe... An hour or two of it. Um, it, I don't know. All right, let's go. Yeah, man, they really thought you did it now. Lock you up and throw away the key. Ain't no getting now. Yeah, poor Kyle Rittenhouse. Innocent and free. Tell me how the fuck you living now. Uh, yeah. Tell me how the fuck you grinning now. Going to school to study law. Let's see who's winning now. This what we need more of. Some patriots in the court so the morals are not forgotten. The reason that we all got here is patriots saw the problem and found the tyrants and shot them. So how the fuck could we be mad at Kyle for getting on it? Oh, I don't really need uh, here's an interesting point, though, all right? When Kyle Rittenhouse did an interview with Tucker Carlson, and Kyle Rittenhouse said, I support Black Lives Matter. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I don't know if he was actually being honest about that, because I do remember there were a lot of really bad rumors going around. Oh, he's a white supremacist. Oh, he's a racist and he's this and he's that. 
So I don't know if maybe that was just to, you know, kind of settle that down. Like, hey, I'm not. I support Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? It could have been that. Uh, but I think the ultimate thing to take away from that is that he said that. Okay? Whether he was being honest about it or not, there was someone uh, who said that, that they support Black Lives Matter and they support uh, peaceful protesting. I think that's the key takeaway here. What, like I said, whether he was being honest or not, we'll probably never know. You know, unless there's videos of him bashing BLM before that, or whatever else, you know, that's a different scenario. But as of what we got right now, uh, it's important that at least someone is being vocal about supporting, you know, the right to peaceful protest. Because that's something so many people just completely overlook and they take the easy way out and say they're all uh, terrorists and they're all riots and just bash the whole thing. Because so many people were just out there protesting for change and for peace. All right. A lot of people were doing that. But then it's just so easy to show hours and hours and hours of the riots and say, oh, look what they're doing. They're tearing up and they're destroying everything. Yes, a lot of them were doing all that. But not all of them. It was not all just that. A lot of it was. But they didn't want to show a lot of the peaceful protests. And that's what really ups upsets me. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want to show the whole story. They didn't. My fist and that's got Smith and Weston got guns and best and got tons of bullets. My piss your chest and I'm high as fuck. Like no intervention, no silence, sir. I like no protection. I'm raw as fuck, like no discretion. Can't handle me, so don't add a mention. I'm next level, like new dimension. Y'all can all get it. That's no aggression. I really am that secret weapon. Like, oh, motherfucker. I feel like Kyle Rittenhouse. Shots got fired. Everybody wanna listen now. Triggers got pulled. Everybody talking different now. Claiming self defense. Everybody know I'm with it now. I feel like Kyle Rittenhouse. I feel like Kyle Rittenhouse. Shots got fired. Everybody wanna listen now. Triggers got pulled. Everybody talking different now. Claiming self defense. Everybody know I'm with it now. I feel like how written house. I feel like how written house. All right, one last thing I'm going to say. Um, you know, he was not prepared to take someone's life. And in that, in that situation, you should not go anywhere with a loaded weapon unless you're prepared to use it. You know what I'm saying? Because when you do that, the chances of you having to use it are increased exponentially. You know what I'm saying? So understand when you're carrying a loaded weapon, you just might have to use it because you're carrying a loaded weapon. See how that works? So a little bit more common sense here. He was in the wrong for going there, okay? Only because, like I said, he was not prepared for that situation. However, once things turned bad, that's when he uh, handled the situation properly. He did the right thing when, you see what I'm saying now? So, he was wrong for going there. He was in way over his head, but when push comes to shove, he did came out of it the right way. He did what he had to do. He tried to not be in that 
situation where he had to take someone's life. He tried, but they just kept pursuing him, and then that's when it got ugly. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. I will see y'all in the next video. Till then, I'm out.